who needs to be involved in developing your buyer enablement tool? Well, the first, and for me, the most important is your solution architects. You might call them sales engineers. You might call them uh, technical architects. These are the people that really understand your platform and then go in with your salespeople to have those uh, deeper discovery and uh, design sessions with uh, your customers. Uh, I bet you can think right now of the one or two individuals that are, that are just like uh, uh, asked for by absolutely every uh, SDR or AE to bring in to these kind of meetings. These are the people that get deals moving. So it's their insight, uh, their process that we want to capture when we're building out these buyer enablement tools. We want to understand uh, what are the questions that you ask? Uh, what is your discovery process about their current state? And then how do you take your understanding of that current state and then turn that into valuable insight and advice for your customer that is then going to help uh, you know, build that rapport and that trust uh, with that customer? So these people are absolutely uh, instrumental. The next is your onboarding teams or implementation teams or project managers. Who are the people that bridge that gap from a deal being signed to the customer being live with your product or service? And the reason why these people are so important is that part of their process is typically uh, some kind of checklists, some kind of data gathering, some kind of assessment, some kind of uh, project planning. They need to take the aspirations and ideals that the customer has from the sales process and turn that into a logical, organized uh, series of events that are going to happen. And this is often some of the information that the buyer really wants right at the start of their process. They want to understand if we're going to go down this kind of route with a product or service like this, what might this look like? And if you can bottle up that checklist, that process, uh, that workflow into some kind of enablement tool, truly valuable for your buyers. The next would be your CSMs or your account managers or your technical support team. Anyone that is looking after customers once they are live uh, in production. And the reason why we want to have these people involved is that they know what's really happening. Uh, marketing have one set of language and the way they talk about the aspirations of your uh, product or service. Uh, sales will have their own language and set of documentation. But these people know what's really happening. How's it actually being rolled out? How's it actually being used? What are the metrics that the customer is actually using to measure the success of their program? And where are they actually struggling with their, their rollout and expansion of the platform? Uh, again, these teams will have their own set of checklists and workbooks and workflows and processes that actual customers are using. And so a really fantastic group of people to uh, engage and understand how we can build tools off the back of that. As soon as you can, you want to go and speak with actual customers and understand how they are actually using your product or service and the actual frameworks and tools and processes uh, that they used both to uh, go through their own buying decision, to go through the implementation, and through managing their ongoing uh, relationship with your product. There may well be tools, workflows, assessments, checklists, calculators that inspire you from what the customer is actually doing that you can then go and uh, recreate and provide to uh, buyers at the front end of their process. The next set of people to include are your sellers, both that's SDRs, uh, that might be your account executives, it might be account managers that are looking after existing customers. Because it's your sellers that you will need to promote and take out your assessment into the prospects where they are involved and use it in their outreach. But also, and importantly, to consult and advise their prospects on the outcomes uh, from the report. 
they need to be comfortable and aware and enabled on how to have a conversation about this report so that it demonstrates their own business insight and acumen to the customers. So we need to make sure that they're involved and on board. And then your marketing team are absolutely critical. We wanna make sure that the branded report looks beautiful. We wanna make sure that the assessment itself reflects your brand and is promoted correctly on landing sites, on the web page, at trade shows and events. So we need to make sure that they are bought in correctly. And then finally, depending on how your organization is structured, your ops team, your RevOps team are going to be responsible for integrating uh, the outcomes of these reports and making sure that they're visible in the right locations, whether that is your uh, CRM, uh, marketing automation platforms, or your uh, BI tool. So those are the main sets of uh, stakeholders that are involved in the creation of your buyer enablement tool.